Hello, I wanna show you this pizza I bought today. Uh, I'm gonna to cook it, I'm gonna taste it like I normally do. It's from Iceland, it's stone-baked ham and pineapple pizza. As usual, it was only a pound. So, like I always say, what can you get for a pound? What do you expect from a pound? Well, it's a new improved recipe. It is ham and pineapple, which is my favorite. Uh, it's frozen, it's about 20 minutes in the oven. So as usual, I'm gonna show you the packet quick, show you uh, any of the cooking options, which isn't many, it's just basically in the oven, I think. Then I'm gonna taste it and mark it out at 10. And I just wanna sort of see what a pound pizza's like. I mean, obviously there's more expensive ones in there, but uh, I don't know. If it looks like the packet, it'd be quite nice. Anyway, let's have a look at the packet. Cardboard packet like you'd expect. So as I mentioned, it's a new improved recipe. So that's pretty good. Uh, stone baked range from Iceland, a pound, ham pineapple pizza, and it's made in Italy, 420 grams. Okay, it's pretty cool. I don't think there's a lot to see, to be honest with you. Ham pineapple. Um, but that's just the best before dates there. Yeah, okay, let's have a quick look on the back. So as I mentioned, how to cook. For best results from frozen, this one's frozen. And uh, just follow the instructions really. So I'm gonna do it in the oven, which is um, the only way you can. <laughs> and I've got a fan, so it's 190, and it's 20 minutes, all gas mark six. Ingredients are in there, all that. Remember as usual, if you've got any allergies, have a quick look. Quickly looking, there's wheat, milk, and milk. And nutritional information there. But it's a peak, so who cares? <laughs> and 420 grams. Stonebake pizza topped with tomato sauce. Smoked slavered cooked ham. Pineapple mozzarella cheese. Edam cheese. And obviously you store it in the freezer. Minus 18 or colder. And the promise there, if you're not happy, you know what to do. Don't buy it again, is my advice. <laughs> anyway, let's get it open. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? So I look, I can open. There we go. Looks like there's quite a bit of pineapple on there. Now can I break this open without the aid of a knife? I'm trying to be clever. Oh yeah, I have look. Right, let's get this out. I'm, by the way, I'm preheating the oven now, so it's gonna be 190. Yeah. As far as pizzas go, I mean for a pound, there's quite a bit of um, quite a bit of pineapple on there, isn't there? Not all the bits. Quite a bit of ham, cheese, yeah. Definitely frozen. Right, let's bang it in the oven for 20 minutes. Off we go to the oven. Right, so it's going to be 20 minutes. It says. Uh, place directly onto the middle shelf. That's about the middle one in it. Something like that. Okay. Looks good. Let's have a look what it looks like in 20 minutes time. So that's in the oven. I said that's going to be about 20 minutes or so. And while it's cooking, I just want to speak a little bit about what your thoughts are on these pizzas. If you've ever had one of these, let me know. Uh, there was a more expensive one in Iceland. I nearly bought it. It was a TGI Friday one. It was five quid and it was the ultimate chicken or something like that. So I thought I had that in my hand and I saw this one and I thought five pound compared to one pound. Bear in mind, I think the TGI one was um, bigger, slightly bigger. But I just wanted to, so actually I'm gonna go for the cheaper one because the pound one was a pound. Pretty good, eh? I mean, if you've got kids and that, you could sort of be part of the meal. As usual, I know they're not the most nutritious meal, but you know, it is a pizza, so you're not going for maximum nutrition now, are you? But um, yeah, let me know in the comments. It's smelling really nice, and initially just looking at it, I don't know what you thought, but pretty good. I've seen some, quite a few pizzas that haven't got that much pineapple or ham. So visually, before it's cooked, I'm pretty impressed. But uh, I'll say, as they say, the proof would be in tasting it, and when it's cooked, wouldn't it? It's smelling pretty good. Okay, I think we're about there. It's just 20 minutes. This often does get quite hot, so I'm just doing it on slightly under the time, it says. Right, how's that looking? Uh, yeah, now can I be clever? Can I be clever? Um, sort of. 
da 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 yes made it without dropping it on the floor so we've been in for just under the time because my cooker tends to burn things it's starting to burn so it's nice and crusty nice and crusty base we've got the pineapple bits Yeah, it's hot, which is good. Just making sure. So what do you think? It's not looking bad, is it? It's not smelling bad, neither. Let's give you a few little shots of this before I dig into it. I hope you can see all right, because I have to turn the light on because it's getting a bit dark. So uh, we saw some little pictures there, didn't we, which are looking good. I'll give you some close-ups. Let's cut it with my pizza cutter that hopefully works. Well, it's a bit old, this pizza. Oh, it does do the job, look. And should I do this way as well? Yeah, it is sort of better than a knife, isn't it? These I don't really normally use these much, but... It's pretty decent. Right, okay. There you are, look. I must admit, I'm impressed. I just want to bite into that, look. Look at all the, look at all the ham and the pizza and the... I'm pleased I didn't leave it any longer because I think it would have dried out. What do you think? Quite thick, look. Oh, it's quite a thick cut. Remember, it's a pound. All right. Let's have a bite at this. Spot on. Um, I'm blown away by this. I wasn't expecting to be this good. Quid. It tastes, you can taste the pizza. It's got a crunchy base, taste of pineapple, taste of ham. Unbelievable. For a quid, nine out of ten. <laughs> if you want to see more reviews, let me know. Subscribe if you want to. All about food um, reviewing in different places, from different shops, all in my kitchen. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, it's so tasty. Anyway, if you want to see more stuff, remember to subscribe. Until the next review, take care and I'll see you again soon. Mm-hmm.